The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Oh, by the way, your guy, I have to call you on this, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Oh, You've been Lord. suggesting that somehow Obama's been running a negative campaign, Obama, and yeah. your guy's been running a positive campaign. That's not accurate. In fact, if they both stopped all the negative, I'm not sure who would win. But they've both been negative. That cheap shot about, I don't have a problem with my birth certificate, was awful. It is an embarrassment to your party to play that card. This stuff about getting rid of the work requirement for help for welfare is dishonest. Everyone's pointed out it's dishonest. And you are playing that little ethnic card there. And you can play your games and giggle about it. Well, but I, the fact is your side is playing that card. Okay, well, when you start talking about work requirements, you know what game you're playing. And everybody knows what game you're playing. It's a race card. And this thing about a birth, uh, yeah, if your name's Romney. Yeah, you were well-born. You went to prep school. Yeah, brag about it. And this guy has an African name, and he's got to live with it. Look who's going to, further to, to in your life. Just a minute. Who was born on third base? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is absurdity. Making fun of the guy's birth certificate issue like, when it was never a real issue, you except think, from the right wing. You think right. that Romney's playing the race card? When he when he said, no, I, I, I'm asking no, you, do you yeah, think when he's he played the race card? Oh, there's no doubt he did with his birth certificate. No, no doubt. No doubt. Wow. Why would he bring it up? Why wow. would he say I have no problem with my birth certificate? What's that supposed because to say? Because he's an awkward joker. Because yeah. because no. he he misfired badly on the show. Why would he do it? Well, I'm just asking you. Do you think? Do you think that Mitt Romney is playing the race card? Oh, now and yeah. Do you really? Oh yeah, and I think this wow. work requirement fits right into it. That's the race card too. Huh? Of course it is. Welfare, no. okay. food stamps. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Chris, Chris, absolutely. I'm happy. And you can chuckle about well, now let him it, respond, Mr. Chairman, because yeah. you have to flag this issue. No, 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 no. The well, fact is, you know talking. what's going okay. on. Okay. No, 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 no. You have to let him respond. Well, you got your monologue in, so no, no, it's congratulations. You know, you got you got you're loaded up. You got it out. Well, you from the this morning began with the negativity on Obama. The fact that a matter is, is that he's from Michigan. He was born in Michigan. Yeah. He's making the point that I was born in Michigan. And you know what? We've gotten to a place in politics that any moment of levity is totally uh, frowned upon by guys like you just to, just so that you can you know, p push your brand. You know what? Good for you. It's a moment of levity. Everybody what was gets the joke? it. It's a, Barack Obama came out at the correspondence dinner with his own joke, as you well, remember, what's the a couple joke years ago, playing the Hulk Hogan song, I'm a Real American. Every person, myself, starting in February of last year, as soon as I became chairman of the RNC, Mitt Romney continuously has said, this president yeah, was okay. born in this country. Yeah. It's a non-starter. Right. It's a dumb issue. Yeah. It's a distraction. Forget it about it. It just seems funny it's that the garbage. first joke he's ever told in his life was about Come a Listen, I think that I, I, I disagree with Chris on this. I and do the work think, I, I, do, I, listen, I think, I think, I think, I think it was a demonstration of his awkward sense of humor. But I do think, in fairness, that all during the Republican debates and the primaries, that there was a lot of stuff aimed at the president that was not refuted by leaders of the party. That got, I refuted got, it every single time. I, I, I bet you 20 times. Times on TV. I'm not talking about the birthing thing as much as I am about he's a Muslim, he's a socialist, he's not American. John Sununu had to apologize for saying uh -huh. he doesn't know what it's like to be an American. That was a pretty tough attack. Now, I think it comes the other way, by the way, from the Democrats toward the Republicans as well. And I think that's what's made the country fed up with American politics. And it's well, a challenge for both parties. I think, yeah, but I think Obama's policies have created a sense that for whatever reason, he's looking to guidance as far as health care is concerned, as far as our spending is concerned, as far as these stimulus packages are concerned, he's looking to uh, to Europe for guidance. What? I mean, that's that's the problem. Where we've do you got get a this government. From? We've this got is a government. Insane. You we've mean the Keynesian fiscal policy is, is so somehow far out of control? control. Oh, 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 oh. You mean you mean the fact that every president we've had has tried to offset the economic cycle with with stimulus going the other direction? Well, look at this. Somehow European. He said he get the debt under control. Where are well, we at? What's this got to do with president? Europe and this foreignization of the guy? Well, You're doing it again now. So you don't he's think Obama is care? influenced by foreign influences? Okay. So you don't well, think government that card taking again? over health care? Uh, what's this European thing of yours? Okay. Oh, what do you think? Let's just work on town. Go ahead, Brian. What are you What are you up to with this constant effort that he's not really domestic? Oh, he brought it up. All right. Okay. You don't think that the takeover of our health care system called Obamacare is a problem for most well, Americans in this country. Let me tell you some history, sir. Teddy Roosevelt pushed for that. Franklin Roosevelt pushed for that. Truman pushed for that. Were they all under all right, the influence well, of Europe? 
I'm, I'm not going to from... get into a shouting match with Chris, so okay. you guys can move on. Because you're enough. losing, that's why. No, it's, I'm not I'm losing. Yeah. All right. I'm this not going to sit here and shout. Let's, 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 I mean, let's, 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 being okay. a foreigner is the thing your party's been cool. pushing. Sununu pushed it. Everybody pushes it in your party. Okay. Garbage. jokes. Garbage. It's your garbage. Um, yeah. Boy, you know I hear the I, uh, hurricane? It might <laughs> bypass us completely and actually go up to New Orleans. We went from a tropical storm to hurricane three here in a while. Yeah. All right. It's All good right. that maybe we suspend things momentarily. Ryan Spreebus, thank you so All right. much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.